The gubernatorial primary race is heating up across the Commonwealth. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm Rachel Young Kunis. Two candidates have ended their campaigns and are throwing their support behind another. Fox 43's Harry Lee has the latest on the rapidly developing race. With Josh Shapiro running unopposed on the Democratic side, it's the Republicans who have more at stake in this gubernatorial primary. Now the more moderate candidates are trying to coalesce around someone they see as more electable in the general election than hard right candidate Doug Mastriano. A crowded field of candidates now thinning out. State Senator Jake Corman dropped out of the race Thursday in support of Lou Barletta. On Friday, Melissa Hart followed suit. I agree with Lou, the stakes are too high. Our Republican primary is too fractured. Some in the Republican Party are concerned about the chances of Doug Mastriano in the general election. He's the current frontrunner, polling at 26 percent. But his far-right stances could weigh him down against Josh Shapiro in a state that has 600,000 more Democrats than Republicans. The question now, is the GOP rallying around a more moderate candidate too late? Names will still be on the ballot, uh, you know, and it's important for, for those supporters to, to um, realize where, where that candidate is now putting their support, and, and hopefully that will... Uh, you know, you know, it'll roll over to uh, to our race. Barletta pulling at 15 percent. He says he's the best bet to beat Mastriano. <laughs> but not all candidates are jumping on board. Bill McSwain and Dave White pulling together at 24 percent are staying in the race. I'm in it to the end because I believe I can win. And again, I am a unique candidate. I'm unlike the other candidates. I am unlike Lou Barletta. I'm not a career politician. We're getting thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of voters coming to our campaign. We're going to continue that. They're the voters that I want to be endorsed by, those hardworking men and women that are across our state. Barletta says should Mastriano win the primary, he would endorse him. The race may narrow further before Tuesday, but after the primary, we will be down to two people, both vying to move into the governor's office in the Capitol. In Harrisburg, Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.